In this video, we will see some typical formula for calculation of fixed end moments in a prismatic beam. Okay, so a prismatic beam is a beam which keeps the cross section of the beam constant throughout the length. Uh, we uh, we deal with most of the uh, most of the practical case with prismatic beams. Okay, so let's look into that. So here we will. Uh, we will uh, show the type of loading type of loading type of loading in here the fixed end moments uh, we represent the fixed end moments with f e m a b and f e m b sorry b a okay so uh, this is our first type of loading one fixed end is having a length of l having a length of l and loaded with a load of w uh, which is kilonewton or newton it is a point load at the middle point okay so at the middle point this is A, this is B. Okay, so the moments, fixed end moments will be like this. This is FEM, FEM, AB. This is FEM, BA, BA. Okay. So, if we in A, B, we keep the counterclockwise as positive here. So, this is the formula is W into L by 8. W into L by 8. Here it is. Since this is symmetric, this is minus W L by 8. Okay. Now, so this is the first formula. Now, our second loading condition is beam fixed end beam and it is having a uniformly distributed load uniformly distributed load the length and all other things are same for the beam it is having a length l okay and this is uh, with the loading of w per meter okay so the the fixed end moments will be plus w L square divided by 2L here it is minus W L square divided by 2L okay so our next loading condition is same fixed end beam same fixed end, fixed end beam uh, in which is having a point load of W and it is acted at a distance of a from the um, one port one end and the b from the other end now this point is a this point is b and which is having a length of l okay so the fem fixed end moment at a point is equal to plus w into plus w into a b square by a b square divided by l square okay so it is plus a b square by l square in the at the b point it is minus of w into a square in a square b divided by square when it is taken at a point the square of the other distance that is b is taken and when it is taken at b point fm is taken at b point the square of the a is taken okay so our next loading condition is fixed in b is in sub and the loading is a 
uniformly varying load it is the uniformly varying load is having a w per meter w per meter okay at the one end at the a end okay so the loading the frictional moment at a is w w into l square divided by l square divided by 20 okay w into l square divided by 20 and at the b point it is minus w into l square divided by 30 and uh, note that at the end where the load is concentrated the fixed rate of moment is more so it is w l square by 20 and at the other end uh, fixed rate of fixed rate of moment will be less and this is minus in w l square by 30 okay so uh, next loading condition our next loading condition here it is type of uh, loading type of loading and this is FEM FEM AB FEM uh, P okay so our next loading condition is a fixed and beam fixed and beam is loaded with a uniformly distributed load up to the middle portion okay it is having a length of l and loaded up to the middle portion okay this is l by 2 okay the loading is w per meter and the fixed moment at the a point is plus plus 11 by 11 by 192 into w into l square w into l square okay so at the b point it is minus of 5 by 192 5 divided by 192 into 192 into w into l square okay so our next loading is fixed and beam which is supported by two ends and loaded with a loading of uniformly varying load and it starts zero from the two ends and ends up at w per meter at the middle okay so this is l by 2 and this is also l by 2 okay this is also l by 2 so uh, from the symmetry we can understand the 2 fem will be in magnitude terms it will be equal and in the uh, in direction it will be opposite okay so in magnitude terms it is 5 by 96 96 w w l square l square it is at the a point it is plus counter counterclockwise and at the b point it is minus minus 5 by 96 5 by 96 times w l square okay so this is the uh, loading condition shown the type of loading okay our next loading is a fixed beam is loaded fixed beam is loaded from the middle point and vary uh, UDL to the end and this is L by 2 this is L by 2 uh, this is also an L by 2 okay and this in this case the fixed moment at 
a point is 7 by 960 9 7 by 960 into w into l square it is w per meter okay w mm, per meter plus 7 by 960 w square and the ba at the uh, then point B, the, the, mm, ben, uh, the fixed end moment will be minus of 23rd or 23 divided by 960, 960 times W L square. Okay, this minus of 23 divided by 960 W L square. Our next loading is fixed end moment loaded loaded by a moment okay so far we have done with all the forces now we will see if what happened if it is loaded by a moment that is counter clockwise which is acting at a distance a from a and b from the point b okay yeah, as in the other cases this is a and b okay so the the fixed end moment at a is equals plus of moment divided by the, this value this moment divided by l square total length square times b into b minus b minus minus 2a okay and at the b point here note that the sign or the direction of the fixed moment is not changing it is again plus it is plus m by m by l square times l square times a into 2b 2b minus a okay so uh, we have seen that some of the standard equations that can be used for structural analysis i hope that you like the video uh, if you like it please share the video for your friends and subscribe to the channel okay thank you